나는 자를 좋아해요. What does this sentence mean? If you would notice, the word in red letter is 좋아요. Because today, on one Korean word a day, we're going to discuss about the word 좋아. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time. Only here, at Day Hangul. Word number 116. Choa. Joa. This is pronounced as a two syllable word. The first syllable is cho, the second syllable is a. Pronounce it with me. Choa. Choa. Choa is an adjective, and this is used to say, Oh, that's good. That's all right. It is also used to say, I like it. Now, how do we spell choa in Hangul? Let's start with the first syllable. To be able to write the first syllable jo in Hangul, we need to draw first a jiot character followed by an o character followed by a hi character. And then for the second syllable a, we need to draw first a no sound iun character followed by an a character. And then, we just have to combine the hangle for each of the syllables to form the hangle of the word choa. Now that we have an idea about the meaning of the word choa, let's try to look into this example sentence. It says, I like that car. The Korean translation of this sentence is, 나는 차를 좋아요. 나는 차를 좋아요. 나는 means I, 차를 means car, 좋아요, which has 좋아, which is our word for the day, means I like it. First of all, 나 or I is the subject and 는 is just a subject particle. Again, the rules on subject particle is that if the subject has a consonant ending, we will add 은, but if the subject has a vowel ending, we will add 는. And since our subject is na and it has a vowel ending, we'll be adding nanun. The next part of the sentence is charl. Cha is an object and rul is just an object particle. Since our object is cha and it has a vowel ending, we'll be adding rul. So it's cha rul. The last part of the sentence is chowayo. Take note, we started with our word for today, which is choa. And then, we added he to use it in an informal speech. So it will go like, choa he. And then, to make it a little bit polite, we'll be adding yo. So that's choa he yo. Choa yo. Again, nanun means I, charun means car, and choa yo means like it. So the sentence means, I like that car. Now, if we will go back to the example sentence at the start of the video, when we hear, 나는 차를 좋아요, we already know that it means, I like that car. And with that, you've just learned, 좋아. Now let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 106 to 115. But don't forget our word for today, word number 116 is Choa. This is used to say, good, alright, I like it. Word number 115 is Yache, and this is the Korean noun for vegetables. Word number 114 is Tebak. This is a Korean slang used to say, amazing. Word number 113 is pap, and this is the Korean noun for rice or meal. Word number 112 is yongwa, and this is the Korean noun for film or movie. Word number 111 is boda. This is a root verb which means to see or to look at. 
Word number 110 is chincha. This is an informal way of saying, really. Word number 109 is ge, and this is the Korean noun for dog. Word number 108 is undong, and this is the Korean noun for exercise. Word number 107 is gongbu, and this is the Korean noun for studies. The last for our review is word number 106, sarange, and this is used to say, I love you, in an informal manner. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time, out here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words. Chowayo. Chowayo. What does this phrase mean? Today, on one Korean word here at Day Hangul, we're going to study about the word. Chowayo. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time, only here at Day Hangul. Word number 169. Chowayo. This is pronounced as a four syllable word. The first syllable is cho. Second syllable is a, the third syllable is he, and the fourth syllable is yo. Pronounce it with me. Chowayo. The word or phrase chowayo simply means, I like you. And it is often used by Koreans to confess their feelings to the person they like. How do we write chowayo in Hangul? There are four syllables. And we will start with the first one. To be able to write the syllable Jo in Hangul, we need to draw first a Jiut character, followed by an O character, followed by a Hi character. For the second syllable A, we need to draw first a placeholder Iung, followed by an A character. For the third syllable He, we need to draw first a Hi character, followed by the E character. And for the last syllable Yo, we need to draw first a placeholder Iung, followed by a Yo character. And then, we just have to combine the hangul for each of these four syllables to form the hangul of the word Chowayo. Now, let's try to look into this example English sentence. It says, I like you. Again, I like you. The Korean translation of this sentence is Chowayo. Again, it's Chowayo. Chowayo is actually just a polite way of saying Chowahe. But take note that Chowayo is different from Chowayo. Chowayo means I like you, but Chowayo is used to say I like it or it's good. They also have different root words. Chowayo came from the root word Chowahada, while Chowayo came from the root word Choda. The word Choda is already discussed on this channel, and if you want to know more about it, you can click on the link attached on the description. Chowahada is a verb which means to like someone, while Joda is a verb which means to be good. These two words may sound alike, but they have different meanings, and they are used differently in a sentence. Now, how do we transform Chowahada to Chowahe or Chowaheyo? If you would notice, there is this verb hada on joa hada. And we already know that the present tense form of hada is he. Now we just have to add the joa part at the beginning of it. So the present tense form of joa hada is actually joa he. Now, just like what we usually do to make it polite, we'll be adding yo to joa he.
to make it 좋아해요. Again, 좋아하다 is the root verb. 좋아해 is the present tense of 좋아하다. And 좋아해요 is the polite form of 좋아해. So looking back to this, which is flash at the beginning of the video, we already know by now that the meaning of the word or the phrase 좋아해요 is simply I like you. And with that, you've just learned 좋아해요. Now let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 159 to 168. Don't forget, our word for today, word number 169 is 좋아해요, which is used to say, I like you. Word number 168 is 나도, which means, me too. Word number 167 is 아기. And this is the Korean noun for a baby or a young human. Word number 166 is 오늘도, which means today too. Word number 165 is 돌아와, which means come here or come back. Word number 164 is haru, and this is the Korean noun for day. Word number 163 is pabo. This is an adjective which means to be dumb or fool. Word number 162 is pyol, and this is the Korean noun for star. Word number 161 is yakso, and this is the Korean noun for promise. Word number 160 is yongwoni. This is an adverb of time which means forever. And the last for our review is word number 159, hajiman. This is the counterpart of but, which is used as a conjunction. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time, only here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words.